right? I'm from San Antonio, yes. Well, then patch me through, fool. I don't think you understand, sir. This is the time that I should be on his screen. Do you have a problem with it? Well, I'll tell you what. Take it up with Linda Calmari from Carmel Hughes, program director at the San Antonio Learning Annex, and my new friends, Richie Aaron and Fernando Funes. That's right. Okay, well, I'm glad. Yes, I accept your apology. No, I'm, I'm not upset. You forget me. Please don't cry, please. Hello, everyone, and welcome to eBay Power Selling 101 with Michael DeWitt. I am Michael DeWitt, the titular Michael DeWitt of the show, eBay Power Selling 101. We are streaming to you here live from San Antonio, just 13 brisk short walks away from the San Antonio Riverwalk. Everyone, I am so excited to welcome you here. I understand this isn't normally what you see here on this, uh, on this stream here, but I wanna assure you that everyone I've come into contact with up to this point, I've been very polite to, and they've been polite to me, and I really do appreciate this opportunity. Uh, this, for those who are uh, new to this, this is a, a seminar all about selling on eBay.com. Uh, eBay.com is an online marketplace. Uh, some might say it's the number one online marketplace in the world. And uh, I am here to impart my experience uh, as a power seller. Uh, yes, I've, I've been an eBay power seller from 1991 to 1999 and from 2000 to 2020. I, uh, I want to thank you for uh, joining us. Uh, I see there's uh, people in the chat. Uh, I, I will be going there every once in a while to take a look at what, what questions you may have or which comments, uh, which uh, well wishes you may be offering my way. I don't want to limit it to just those three, but I'd say those are the three highest priority kinds of chat interactions that I will be responding to. Uh, I do want to say that uh, we are... Uh, we don't really do this uh, Wednesday nights uh, at 9.30, at 9 p.m. Uh, on the Pack Theater's Twitch channel and on Channel 59 in San Antonio. Uh, and if you would like, if you enjoy what you've uh, learned here tonight, uh, what you will to learn, uh, please do uh, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at PowerSelling101. But please, uh, don't forget, uh, this seminar that you're about to experience is free. Yes, that's right. Thanks to a generous grant from the Carter Silk family. Uh, all registration fees have been waived. Uh, however, in lieu of those registration fees, we do ask you to take a look up here at the top of the screen. Uh, we want you to donate to tonight's charity, uh, Rices. Uh, and this here is a little tiny URL that I've created. And trust me, uh, it accurately goes to the correct donation form. Um, I'm not sure what it would look like if someone were to come on here and create a fake URL uh, that direct diverted people from a charity. I think even uh, in the most... Uh, Silly of ways, that would not be appropriate. So please, I, uh, I assure you, uh, this takes you to that same URL that they were posting there in the chat earlier, classy.org slash fundraiser, etc. Uh, so the main purpose of this course is uh, teaching all of you about selling on eBay, your wares, uh, your castaways, your hand-me-downs, your knickknacks, your paddy wax, etc. and so on. Uh, however, uh, I don't just consider this, although we talk exclusively about eBay, I don't consider this just all about eBay. I, I do consider myself as well uh, uh, an amateur uh, uh, enthusiast when it comes to interpersonal healing uh, and high-scale empathy. So uh, just keep that in mind as we proceed here. Uh, this evening, what we have for you, uh, for you to learn vicariously, are two workshop students who have an item that they would like me to help them uh, that they would like me to appraise for them, to help them sell on eBay.com. Now, all I know is their names. Uh, I don't know what item they have. I don't know what part of the world they're joining us from. I don't know whether I would consider them someone I trust uh, to babysit my children, theoretical children. Uh, I, all I know is their name. So uh, I'm not responsible for what's about to come other than the learning part. With that said, I would like to introduce you to our first workshop student, it says here on the form, MD. 
MD, are you there? Hello, is anybody there? Well, <gasps> yes, to answer your question, literally there is one person here. It's me, Michael DeWitt, how are you? I'm Michael DeWitt. All right now, let's, let's sort this through here. Uh, earlier in this uh, seminar, I introduced myself as Michael DeWitt, for that is my name, the titular Michael DeWitt of this seminar. Now what the goddamn hell are you trying to say here, huh? What's going what? on? It worked. What? What worked? It's the year 1995. What? First, it's been a wonderful year of the new pro, the new website eBay. Have you heard of it? Hold on. You're saying it's 1995 where you are? Yes. In the, in the early throes of eBay.com success. So, what time is it where you are? Well, it should be dead something, but I think it's closer to midnight. No, the year. Oh, what? Oh, what year is it? Yes. It will be if we're going to be talking uh, interdimensionally, time traveling. Uh, the more la clear our language, it's specific, it is probably the better. What year is it? Uh, it is 2020. What is that? Is that 25 year difference? Hold on there. It can't be. It can't be. Is this, is this what if I'm thinking? You're Michael Dewitt. What? And I'm Michael Dewitt. My Michael Dewitt's time traveling Zoom CD ROM worked. Wait, where did you find that? I thought I lost I mean, that in the move when I uh, moved from uh, down by the riverbanks up to the human place. Please go on. Well, you, I just moved there. What? Did you move to, wait, did you move to the, to the riverbanks? The river or banks. the human place. The human place. The human place. Oh my God. Here you seen this what's happening here in the chat? What is the chat? You sons of people in the chat there. Sound off. I gave you three clear directives. Either well wishes, questions, or comments. There we go. All right. Yes. Oh my God. You, you've, I, even though I was the one that created that time traveling CD-ROM, I always thought of it as just a concept. You're saying it actually worked. Well, I guess in this timeline, yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Can I say something real quickly? Please. You look a lot like uh, David Bowie's character in the Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me film. You, I'm pretty sure he has that exact same shirt, which I know is similar to mine. And I know you are me, so you know this. You devil. Mancho, you're calling a devil, devil? You, listen, you know, you know better than anyone. How many times have we been in a bar at the San Antonio Riverwalk when a beautiful woman calls us a devil, lets out a sly smile, and then pretends to smack us and then laughs? You know what happens then? Well, that's only happened once because I'm, I'm a newbie here. That's right. Oh, that's right. Most of my experience is in that very specific category. No. Where are you single? In 2020, are you still single? I mean, are we still single? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's undetermined, indetermined. Oh no. No, I mean, we, we're close. Don't give up on I us. Myself, Michael. Don't give up I, on us, Michael. Michael, listen to me. Right? Yes. They've just unleashed something. What's that? My neighbor was talking about it. Oh, I, sorry, I'm, I'm, I just took an acting class and we were learning accents, so I'm, Developing mind, Michael, I guess me. Oh, that's you right. You should remember this. No, yes, that's right. I do remember this acting class where we uh, f came out of our shell. and We started employing different uh, tones and tempers in our voice. Well, uh, I guess our neighbor, our new neighbor, <gasps> his name his name is Bill. Hold on I now. heard him in the garage developing something called the Java Tricks. Hold on now. You aren't referring to the same Java Tricks? that anyone who has been watching our show over the last eight months would know the reference to, but anyone who has just joined us tonight for the first time would have well, no me, idea what it means. Well, let me explain it because this yes. is the first time I've heard of it. Oh, perfect. <laughs> the audio, you could be the entryway for this new audience into this story. Oh my God. So the Java tricks, he said, yes. is something, it's an interweb, it's a, it's a series of coding and sequences. Ones and zeros, floated yes. around indiscriminately. Yes, and Anybody who enters may never return. That's right. And it's not just the internet. This... What's that? It's... Did it's you notice this... I was looking at my phone? Is that why you paused? What? Wait. 
Yes, show me show me your your tel- your home phone. This is my home phone. Let me see. Was it supposed to be more revelatory than that? This is my home <laughs> phone. All right here. Listen, listen. Listen, you fool. I can I can call you that. Sure, surely because we, I am you. Walter and Weiser. Listen. We don't have our, our normal amount of time to indulge this as much fun as it is. I, I, I do need to ascertain, young Michael, what exact item do you need my increased experience and intuition with? Well, I guess now, the Michael DeWitt's time-traveling CD-ROM, it only works for PC so far. What? But I'm going to get it working for Mac once I get the right funds through eBay. Remind me again, or you so are you saying you're selling this, or you're telling me you're going to sell other things to try no, and fund this? It. Well, I'm going to sell other things because this hasn't been that successful. But once I sell yes. all my true religion genes and right. my Walkman that I found, I'm going to sell this. But I guess I can sell it now because it works. That is a goddamn smart idea, and I dare I say. It comes from a, a young uh, enthusiasm that uh, I don't necessarily have in this old age, which makes me think something that may be useful to those in the chat. Just because you're older and wiser doesn't mean you know better than the younger version of yourself. Oh, For great. youth I don't... and resplendency are tied like this. Synonyms, brothers, cousins, sisters. Huh? Resplendent. That's such a beautiful word, the way it rolls off the Wait, tongue like a... Hold soul. on now. I'm remembering the first time I heard the word resplendent. Wait. I learned the word resplendent from an older version of me that I was talking through into a PC. Now that I'm... Wait. This is the time travel paradox. If you go back in time and you tell yourself the word resplendent, and then you remember when did you learn the word resplendent, it was from yourself. So who said resplendent first? The younger Michael or the older Michael? I guess right. I would be the egg in this scenario. Yes. Or the chicken, because I'm, I'm hatching you. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is beautiful. Here, can I have you hold on for a second now? Uh, younger Michael DeWitt, who kind of looks like David Bowie in Fire Walk With Me, the Twin Peaks film. Hey. <laughs> hey. You're complimenting yourself, is what I'm saying. That's right. Uh, okay. I- well, I will give myself that compliment in the, in the context of, I do enjoy that film, but uh, if we have more time, we could do a deeper dive into David Bowie's uh, troubled past. Uh, he's a very problematic person. I don't want anyone to think that I adopt all the qualities of David Bowie. Please, no one in the chat no. say that I uh, have all the qualities of David Bowie. I'll well, be I embarrassed. Can, I can guess that people still love David Bowie the way they love him now. Things have changed since 1995, young Michael. For the better. Make that clear. Let's just say that we don't have enough time to completely go into that. Uh, but please, uh, please mute your screen for, for a second, and I will. Uh, I have to be joined by our second workshop student. Now, this is the part of the seminar where I usually have my teacher's assistant, the infernal Tom Parrott, keeping tight time, although we always do go long in our normal slot. So if I can get a favor uh, from one of the show producers of this festival, can you type into the chat where we are at our set? And I call it a set because I, I respect the format of the festival, even though this is a real seminar and not a show or a set. Rather than pausing until I hear how much time we have left, I will proceed and then keep an eye on the chat. I hope you're all joining us here. I hope you're all enjoying yourselves learning there. Learning the value of a... Uh... No, we cannot... Okay, someone's asked us for us to do Temper Trap Hour. We don't have time for that. It's a game called Sweet Disposition. It's a movie trailer game where we play movie trailers, but we mute the sound and we play Temper Traps, Sweet Disposition over it in our normal show. But we will not do that tonight because we're joined by a second guest. And their name, as far as I know, I don't know anything about them. All I know is their name. It is Dame Coochie Drench. Yes, uh, hello. It's 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 wonderful to be here on on this set, which is also a, a, a seminar in a festival. It's a, it's a thing within a thing within a thing within a, a time paradox, and it's it's lovely. It's 
all well, great. It is lovely and great to meet you, Dame Coochie Drench. And before we continue, I'd like to know what your prefer preferred name would be that you'd like for me to refer to you as. The old dame, if you don't mind. Dame Coochie Drench, if you're feeling nasty. The old dame. The old dame. Normally, in most contexts, if someone asks me to call them the old dame, I would refuse to. I would not feel comfortable with that. But between that option and Dame Coochie Drench, I would gladly call you the old dame. I, I, I will absolutely take it. I, the old dame, it's, it's, it's a knighthood. I, yes. I was knighted by the, the Queen of England herself. I own a sword. And uh, I owned a I own a ninja knife that I purchased off the television, and and, and it works great. I almost wish that I had video footage of that nighting, because I have many questions that I don't have time to completely get into. No, but, absolutely not. Yes, That's, yeah, um, yes. It, this is normally in 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 what would be a show. It's helpful for the host to continuously remind everyone that we don't have time to get into the fun things that they've said. I just like to make that clear. Uh, so, uh, the old dame, uh, you are on a set, you say. So, are you? Uh, you are an actor. I I do partake in uh, in in the thespian arts uh, from time to time. I I, I travel. I I I am on set uh, live. Um, uh, shooting a, a commercial for uh, what looks like a Forever 21. You're not quite sure. Uh, they just I, let I, you I, free I, on set. Uh, you may be advertising for a Forever 21. It could be uh, a wet seal. You know, quite frankly, I, I do come and go um, yes. in and out of consciousness. But it does look like a Forever 21. And I will be advertising uh, T-shirts that say Bay on it. Well, interesting. Now, let that. me ask you this, Dame Coochie Drench, because you sound like you're a, a prognosticator of uh, cultural sensitivities. Uh, yes. This term, Bay, uh, it's, it came became popular, I'd say, maybe 10 years ago. It's probably it's probably around for longer, but I'd say 10 years ago. It's the first time I heard it in, in the cultural lexicon. Uh, is, do you know the origins of the word Bay? Do you know like which communities or cultures developed that and whether or not there was ever any kind of... Uh, Serious discussion on it becoming a universal fun thing to say or put on a T-shirt. Well, it, uh, 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 not off the the top of my yeah. head. Um, I I I I, uh, I do believe that there there was a um, uh, Forever Twenty One likes to take um, phrases and um, steal from marginalized communities if oh, i had assured, to um... assuredly i do now that you say that i do remember uh plenty of articles about uh them either stealing from maybe uh, uh less popular independent designers and mm -hmm. or doing very offensive things for profit it's um it's a check michael that's right and speaking of a check let's check ourselves before we wreck ourselves what is it that we can help you sell this this evening, well, I I do have a rarity um, yes. to, to to present tonight. Um, I, I I I'm a little I'm a little nervous about it, but I I I guess you do not strike me as someone who is capable of feeling nervous. Well, here goes. Yes. I'm going to try to power through the emotion. Okay. But um, I I I'm interested in um in oh, selling no. this um what looks like to be um. Uh, an antique uh, guitar hero on tour um, adjustment for some sort of a gaming device. Um, uh, I'm, these look like uh, harmonica holes, and um, I have been uh, blowing on it profusely um, to to no results. So what you have there, uh, you're, you're struggling to use it, but it, what it sounds like you have there is uh, an expansion to the Guitar Hero game. Presumably, I can only assume. Presumably there was enough Aerosmith songs in Guitar Hero for them to have uh, the use of a harmonica. Uh, and uh, uh, from what I know, 
a lot of those games fell out of favor, uh, maybe three or four years after they came out, including Rock Band and such. Well, uh, yeah, I was just about to mention Rock Band. Well, you, you can't talk about Guitar Hero without mentioning Rock Band. That's right. Uh, yeah, yeah. In fact, uh, you know, this is a whole fun time for the whole family. You could have a young sibling play the drums. You could have a, a, a neighbor play on the guitar. You could play bass. Uh, if you were especially rich, you could uh, buy the Beatles Rock Band, which was... The same price as normal rock band, except it had 14 songs, and you could finish it in Ooh. an hour. Oh, my goodness. Yes. 14 songs. I do believe that is the entire Beatles catalog. As far as oh, I, I wish. Now, listen to here one thing, uh, Dame Coochie Drench. The old dame. The old dame. I don't know why I, I keep saying your full name. It's, 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 it's a sign of respect. Something you should know is that I do not like the Beatles at all. I do not like them, Coochie Drench. You are one bit. Uh... I find them to be very cloying. I understand in the context of history. What? There's no sound. There's absolutely no sound. I'm, say, I'm saying, I'm saying uh, the, the Beatles have 14 songs and people aren't listening. Someone in the chat is saying there's no sound. <laughs> you infernal... The, <laughs> the infernal someone... producer of this entire thing is giving me <laughs> misleading information. Ooh, oh, my goodness. Ooh, uh, we, were, yeah, yes, you... we were going so well with no interruptions up until that point. I, and I feel was, like we we were making total sense. Everyone in the chat understood everything that was going on up until this yeah, point. Every, everyone was following along. So perfectly. let's resume our perfect streak. Yes, let's keep going. Uh, um, please don't uh, push that little button that looks like a, a speaker on the uh, left-hand corner of your screen. Don't make it uh, so it, that is an X that will mute the sound. That is what happens when you do that. Please. Did oh, you just give me instructions? <laughs> Oh, no, uh, uh, people in the chat. They're saying, no, okay, listen Speak here now. Speak louder, please. I gave the chat three prime directives. Well wishes, questions, or comments. Trolling inaccurate <laughs> comments about the level of our volume is neither of those three. What's When you say neither, it's two. But what would three be? Trier? It's trier of those three. It's try. It's it, and it hits the ear well. Thank you for thank you, Florentino and PC. We are doing great. That is a well wish that I will well accept. Uh, and can I ask? You know what? Uh, let's just say that you can get fifteen dollars for that harmonica. And I will. You know, I want to ask you. Uh, sure. Being knighted by a a, a a knife or a, a samurai sword that you purchased on eBay. What was that? Yes. Like? Um, the, the, the queen has, um, let's just say a less than accurate swing and, um, th there was stitches involved. Um, but, uh, on, on the other side, I had a, a loss, a lot less blood. Right. And, um, I, th I think that's to my benefit. The doctors had always said I had too much blood, entirely too much blood. So you are, you are happy with the end results of being slashed with the a, a sword? And, and okay. bled out, yes, yes. All right, well, uh, I was going to say, uh, uh, young Michael DeWitt, if you can join us again on the screen here. Hello. You're off the hook. You don't have to go back in time and prevent uh, the, old, the old dame from being sliced with a sword. She, she enjoyed it, so. So you could just keep living your life. Okay. No, no missions for you. How resplendent. Resplendent. Oh, resplendent. Oh, what a word. You just no. reminded me of the word that I taught you. There is a second paradox in the time travel. Uh, the, thir the, the third paradox that we brushed over is uh, what came first? Capitalism or appropriation of cultural uh, terminology and history? These are all new terms. These are uh, inextricably, inextricably linked concepts. Because... Now let's have a vote in the chat. We, we do have to leave in about 37 seconds, but we want to have a vote in the chat here. First off, please. If an old Michael DeWitt tells a young Michael DeWitt the word resplendent for the first time, and then the old Michael DeWitt remembers the first time he heard the word resplendent was from when he was young, and an old Michael DeWitt told him the word resplendent, who originally came up with the word resplendent? That's one, one of the polls that we're doing to the chat. Mm. The second poll we're doing is what came first, capitalism or appropriation of cultural terminology and history for profit? All right. Uh, <laughs> okay. Do people still like Charlie Rose? 
in 2020. Okay, please. We do not have time to go into any of that. And don't you dare say any stand-up comedian's name. Literally, any stand-up comedian's name, because you will... George Carlin? Please. You did the one thing I told you not to do, young Michael. Be careful. Prior. Be careful oh, behind you. Michael. Jingaro Afalo. Okay, you've actually... You've actually said names of people who are either grandfathered or don't have any known problematic issues. Uh, so congratulations to you, young Michael. You will continue to enjoy the same stand-ups you have enjoyed in 1995, in 2000. And here's my, my, here's, my no, here's my advice to you, old Michael. Yes. The word grandfathered is problematic. Ooh, that's so sage. You... But I, I don't blame you. We're no, all no, 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 no. Listen. As I said earlier, the lesson of tonight's seminar is that just because you're older and you feel wiser doesn't mean you know more. Youth and resplendency are synonyms. Yes. And you have just revealed that the youth are the answer. I'm pretending that they're going to kick me off and I have to yell the last five seconds of the show. The youth are the answer. Listen to them. They will lead the you way. If it's a bunch of old people in a room, whatever they want is wrong. That's absolutely true. I'm, I'm wrong on everything. Thank you for joining us. Uh, that was problematic as well. I'm sorry. I meant, I meant wealthy people. Everybody is. God. Every, everyone is problematic and everyone is. All right. I have to go now because it's the end of the thing. Uh, you know what? Enjoy the rest of the pachanga, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Resplendent.